You're watching Telecom TV from the SDN World Congress 2016 event in The Hague. And I'm joined now by Marijn Kuypers, who is Senior Product Manager, Digital Communications at Zura. Marijn, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Um, first of all, can you tell me more about the company? Tell me more about Zura. Right. Uh, Zura is a relatively new company. It was formed in the summer of 2015 as the merger of two companies that existed for more than 20 years in the telecoms industry. So the one company is Ascision, it's the world leader in messaging, SMS, MMS. The other company is Converse, which is the leader in voicemail solutions. So uh, combined, uh, uh, the Zura company has uh, about 350 customers worldwide, uh, predominantly uh, providing our services to tier one, tier two, operators uh, all across uh, the world. So how long has Zura been in an NFV-focused partnership with Hewlett Packard Enterprise? Right. So the relation that both companies had with HPE already dates from uh, almost 20 years ago. So that was predominantly in the hardware industry. So um, uh, platforms to deliver our solutions on. Now, lately we have seen a lot of change in that. So virtualization came along and uh, recently also uh, from virtualization into real NFV type of solutions. So there the collaboration with uh, HPE was a natural uh, evolution from that and started in the first half of 2015 with um, onboarding of our solutions in the uh, HPE open NFV environment. Um, and we also had some showcases of that at Mobile Congress in Barcelona this year. Now, you just mentioned Open NFV. Um, how does the utilization of such ecosystems help Zero? Right. So, if you look at uh, NFV in general, what we see at uh, our customers is uh, it's a journey coming from uh, silo based solutions into virtualization into NFV uh, deployments. Um, as a matter of fact, if you look at the current landscape of NFV solutions being really used at our operators, there are only a few. So the way that we approach this is from a Zura perspective, we are focusing on creating the VNF, the virtualized network functions, that would run on such an environment. And in order to make sure that we can deploy them and operate them easily for, with our customers, we need to make sure that these are pre-tested before we go into, into these environments. So together with HPE, we created an, a reference architecture, uh, building uh, this network in our R&D labs to make sure that we can do this end-to-end -end integration testing. You also mentioned virtual network functions there, VNFs. Um, what benefits do, do VNFs bring to service providers? Right. So, if you look at the capabilities that we provide Azura to the tele telecoms industry, these are really focused on uh, a messaging and security type of solutions. So the benefit of deploying these as virtualized network functions is that our customers, the telecom providers, have the flexibility to choose those functions that best suit their needs. And if you look at messaging and the, the, the experience that we have over the past 20 years, it helps customers a lot if they can select best of breed products uh, deployed as VNFs in their environment, instead of having an end-to-end -end, um, uh, closed ecosystem. So how are you going to use this partnership with HPE to provide service providers with, with pre-tested VNFs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I mentioned is one of the, the, the biggest things is that by having HPE's uh, solution in our environment, we are able to pre-qualify everything. So deploying our solutions in that environment, doing the integration of our VNFs with the Mano environment, and testing the use cases that are relevant to operators. So the onboarding, uh, the self-healing capabilities, uh, elasticity, all of that we can pre-qualify in our R&D labs. And that is this de-risking project that we would do at, uh, at our customers. And what about openness? How important is openness to the deployment and evolution of NFV? Mm -hmm. In my view, it's extremely important. So we have run a survey ac uh, across uh, the telecoms providers that we have as customers, and we asked them about uh, a specific question in the NFV area. 
One of the questions was the importance that uh, our customers see in how such an ecosystem would uh, be set up. And openness was their number one uh, requirement. They want to be able to select the best of three partners in their whole ecosystem that they need to deploy. And having such an open uh, system is, is, is really important to them. At the same time, they also saw the biggest challenge in this whole NFV environment and uh, uh, the NFV journey that they're making in a good integration of the different products coming from different vendors mm -hmm. with an NFV environment. And being open to that, being able to pre-qualify, pre-test this, this is required to, uh, to uh, uh, make sure that this challenge can be, uh, can be overcome. Which brings me to my final question, which is how does Zura, along with HPE, help service providers with interoperability as well as time to market mm -hmm. and NFE deployments? Okay, so one of the items is what I already mentioned, the pre-qualification. So the qualification does not need to happen at the moment that we, we start deploying a solution at our, our customers. We have already done this. Uh, next to that, the roadmap that we have for all of our uh, VNFs really shows that the NFV is at the heart of the sometimes uh, existing services uh, that there are today. So there are not a lot of new features in SMS, in MMS and voicemail. It all comes down to bringing the cost down, which is indeed being able to run smoothly in such an environment, but also being able to operate it efficiently. And the last thing is, if you look at being more agile, uh, addressing the time to market aspect, what we have done in our R&D organization is deliver a uh, methodology based on the agile principles. So basically every two weeks, we are able to release a new version of our software with new capabilities. Um, we are in discussion with operators to have that uh, uh, methodology also uh, being applied in the deployment phase. So a continuous deployment and integration cycle, which helps them a lot in addressing the time to market. And an NFV environment and virtualization helps a lot to do that. So uh, basically what you could do is uh, on a continuous basis apply new software into the environment, pre-test it, qualify it and bring it into, uh, into operation. Excellent. Marijn, thank you very much indeed. Welcome.